Hello, my name is Gustavo Eresi. I am a lung doctor at the Cleveland Clinic where I direct the pulmonary hypertension program. And in this video, uh, I will educate you about pulmonary hypertension, uh, about a kind of pulmonary hypertension called CTE, which stands for chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, and about the symptoms and medical care for CTE. Pulmonary hypertension, or PH, is a problem in which the blood pressure in the lungs is too high. After your blood has delivered oxygen to the tissues of your body, the blood needs to come back to the lungs to get more oxygen. Your blood returns to the right side of the heart, which in turn pumps blood into your lungs. The pressure that the right side of your heart is pumping against is called your pulmonary pressure. When this pressure is too high, it is called pulmonary hypertension. This is different than high blood pressure in the rest of the body. High lung pressure can be caused by several medical conditions. Lung blood clots are a common condition. Now, forming blood clots is a normal defense mechanism of the body to prevent bleeding in the case of injury. However, sometimes blood clots form abnormal. Risk factors for blood clots include long periods of inactivity, major surgical procedures, cancer, pregnancy, and the after pregnancy period, as well as estrogen containing oral contraceptives, obesity, smoking, among others. Most often, these blood clots happen in deep leg veins, so-called deep venous thrombosis, or DVT, and the clots can then travel in the bloodstream to clog the arteries in the lungs, so-called pulmonary embolism, or PE. With the help of blood thinners and the body's own internal clot dissolving process, most pulmonary blood clots go away without causing any permanent damage. In a small number of people though, these pulmonary clots do not go away and become scars that block and narrow the size of pulmonary vessels. These clots are called chronic thromboemboli and are the cause of increased pulmonary pressure in CTA. So chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, or CTA, is a condition where there is elevated blood pressure in the pulmonary arteries caused by chronic blood clots, or thromboemboli, which obstruct the free flow of blood through your lungs. This is a special form of pulmonary hypertension that, unlike all the other forms, can potentially be cured with a surgical procedure. This is why it is extremely important that your healthcare provider makes sure that chronic blood clots are not the cause of your pulmonary hypertension. Now, the symptoms of CTEF are quite similar to other forms of pulmonary hypertension. There may be no signs or symptoms of CTEF in its early stages, which is also similar to other forms of pH. Symptoms that you may notice include becoming short of breath more easily with activity, being more tired or fatigued than usual, chest pain, which sometimes can be mistaken for a heart attack, heart racing or pounding, so-called palpitations, feeling lightheaded, and even passing out, which we call syncope. Another symptom that sometimes is a bit more common in CTEF versus other forms of pulmonary hypertension is coughing up blood, what we call hemoptysis. Swelling or edema of your feet and ankles is also a common sign, particularly later in the stage process, and also your belly may become bloated by fluid accumulation that we call ascites. At later stages of the disease, the oxygen level in your blood may become very low, making your lips, feet, and or fingers turn blue. Now, you should talk to your healthcare provider if you have any of these symptoms. 
And if you have shortness of breath and or fatigue several months after you had a blood clot in the lungs or legs, your healthcare provider should look for CTEP. This is important because without appropriate diagnosis and treatment, CTEF gets progressively worse. People get more short of breath, the right side of your heart fails, and this can be fatal. And importantly, blood thinners alone are not enough to stop this process. Everybody with pulmonary hypertension with or without a history of blood clots should be assessed for CTEF. And the best way to do this is to get a type of X-ray called a ventilation perfusion scan or VQ scan. CAT scans are often not good enough as doctors frequently fail to identify CTEF lesions on a CAT scan and typically a referral to an expert pulmonary hypertension and or CTEF center is necessary to arrive at the right diagnosis. Now, in terms of the assessment for pulmonary hypertension, your healthcare provider will usually order an ultrasound of your heart, which we call the echocardiogram. If the echocardiogram shows the pressure on the right side of your heart may be high, your healthcare provider may order a cardiac catheterization. During a cardiac catheterization, a rubber tube, so-called catheter, is placed through a blood vessel into chambers of your heart to measure the pressure in the right side of your heart. A cardiac catheterization is the best way to measure the blood pressure in the pulmonary arteries, and it's absolutely mandatory to know whether or not you indeed have pulmonary hypertension. Your healthcare provider will also order tests to look for chronic pulmonary clots. The screening test of choice for CTEF, as I mentioned, is the ventilation perfusion scan. During this test, radioactive material, so-called radioisotopes, are injected into the vein and inhaled into the lungs to see how well the blood circulates through the lungs and how well air moves in and out of the lungs. A normal result from a VQ scan means you do not have CTEF. However, if the VQ scan is abnormal, you will need additional X-ray testing requiring the use of intravenous dye to confirm the diagnosis. A computed tomography, CT or CAT scan, is a special type of CT that shows visual slices of the pulmonary arteries and gives more details about the location and extent of pulmonary blood clots. You may also undergo a pulmonary angiography, which is done similarly to a right heart catheterization, but allows for detailed visualization of blood flow and pulmonary arteries. This test can be sometimes performed at the same time as the cardiac catheterization. In conclusion, I encourage you to continue to learn more about CTEF and connect with other CTEF patients through PHA. Thank you.